What's going on YouTube and welcome back to our channel here at Vagabond Builds and today we're going to be bringing to you a comparison video between a 2023 Honda CRV EXL trim all wheel drive compared to the 2023 Honda HRV front wheel drive but still EXL trim and we're going to be talking about the exteriors, interiors and some specs about these exact cars in comparison. But before we do, it is not a sponsor video. So if you guys do like our content, please like our video, subscribe to our channel because it really helps us out. We appreciate the support. If you got something for us to film, here's our email below. Email us and we could talk details later. Also a special, special shout out to Auto Nation Honda here at the Roseville Auto Mall in Roseville, California, right outside Sacramento. And also everybody, we are going to drop that MSRP sticker with the exact package and price tags on these cars so you guys get an idea of what you guys are looking at or looking for. Now let's go ahead and talk Honda CRV, Honda HRV. So let's kick off this video with some specs about these exact cars. We got the 2023 HRV and this comes with a four cylinder 1.5 liter turbocharged engine. And I know everybody, not many people are crazy that Honda went turbo on their CRVs. But this comes 190 horsepower, 179 foot-pounds of torque. A little bit about the MPG is 27 city, 32 highway, and a 29 combined. You have the option of getting all-wheel drive or front-wheel drive. My best advice to anybody would be get the all-wheel drive option. It is just nice to have it while you need it or at your disposal. Now talking about the HRV. HRV comes 2.0 liter naturally aspirated, which I'm a huge fan of. 158 horsepower, 138 foot pounds of torque, front wheel drive or optional all wheel drive. This exact car that you guys are looking at is front wheel drive. A little bit about the MPG is 26 city, 32 highway, and a 28 combined. Now, everybody, you also have the option of getting the HRV in a hybrid option. So keep that in mind. Now let's go ahead and shut these hoods. Right off the bat, before I forget, anybody who wants to know, this is a still night color. The name is still night on the exterior color. The HRV is a Nordic forest color for anybody who wants to know. And I'm a really big fan of this color now let's talk crv compared to hrv now right off the bat we can see that the hrv itself is bigger okay you have a they're both compact suvs but the hrv is more of a mid-size compact suv front ends are completely different from angles curves cuts front grills upper and lower are different from the cuts near the vents here and here, and pretty much nothing is similar on these two cars. Now on the CRV, right off the bat, I'm telling you guys that you're going to have a little prettier price tag because you're getting more of the bells and whistles on these CRVs. Black gloss front grille, Honda stamped right in the front, chrome all around, being the EXL trim. Now remember, we're talking about the EXL trim, you're going to be seeing different things from EXL to EX or to other models like the hybrid. Lower grille is in that matte black plastic. Bumper sensors integrated into the EXL with no fog lights, everybody. Now, Honda, what they did is they took out their fog lights from the CRVs. Let me know how you feel about that in the comment section below because I am not that great of a fan. I've always loved my fog lights to have them right when I need them, okay? So coming over to the HRV, being the EXL package, now remember you're going to be seeing slight differences, black gloss trim on that upper grill, black gloss on that lower lip with that matte black plastic lower grill itself. Bumper sensors integrated with your black gloss uh, bezels where the fog lights would go you kind of have some vent for airflow over to that tire honda is not as beautiful on the hrv that it is on the crv now take a look at the cuts pay attention to the hoods a little bit more wide 
on the CRV. The CRV is a little bit more, uh, I would say, grand, let's say, from here. Now, we're not even comparing this to the higher models in their SUV lineup, but good idea of you know what they look like. This is what we're doing this video for, is bringing you both of these cars, because a lot of people do look for you know, comparison videos and what's kind of different on both of these cars lined up, you know, head to head. Now moving over to the side, parking marker on the CRV integrated into that wheel well trim with that matte black plastic going around the wheel well trim, okay? And you have your 18 inch, one color, kind of a metallic silver rim. Over to the HRV, you have a bi-color 17 inch rim now it's kind of a gunmetal gray with a machine surface silver. And something I want you guys to notice is that see how this is a black uh, painted wheel well trim. Now I'm loving that fact because I'm a big fan, if you've been watching our other videos on our channel, is that it gives it just of a richer look. So being on a lower uh, scale for the HRV on the lineup, but it still has that nice kind of rich look because it has that painted wheel well trim. Now continuing, over to the side side mirrors okay they do come with blind spot assist integrated lighting right here all right now they're not automatic foldable so you're not going to get you know all those perks with like heated side mirrors and all that stuff on these exact exl trims there you you can't control them electrically just the mirrors themselves for regulating if you're inside the car now the matte black plastic on the CRV comes over, connects to the lower bottom side of the car and over to the back. Keyless fob entry. Now get a load of this new look, loving it. Now it reminds me of more of a European kind of Volkswagen look, you know, uh, let me know in the comment section below, you know, people think they look like, you know, the Mazda SUVs, but I am thinking that they have more kind of an European exterior design with a Japanese interior but that is my belief. Over to the HRV, a little bit smaller in height, of course, and in cabin size, but you see how that black gloss trim comes over, that, sorry, painted wheel well trim comes over from the wheel well over to the side, all the way over here to the back. This also has keyless fob entry. It's very nice. Black gloss on the HRV. All right, in between the windows and up top with kind of a matte black here to where the EXL trim will have that kind of chrome look, giving it a more richer feel. Matte black plastic in between the windows. Continuing, there goes your gas. Gotta love that gas. Over to the back. Now everybody, you're going to be see a big difference here on the rear ends. Talking about the HRV, Stamped, you're going to have a different look on the tail lights. Complete different look. Tail lights. Uh, we see on the CRV that the tail lights come up, okay, up on the rear side of that quarter panel, but not here on the HRV. The HRV is just kind of that typical rear light. But what I do like is the character and the aspect that they put in this tail light. Very nice design with a design on the interior side with that black gloss interior or interior housing. Loving it with that LED look shine. Bumper sensors integrated into that lower bumper cover with finishing off with a painted nice gray or silver trim. Just very nice feel being a, you know on the lower side of the SUV line for Honda, but it does look like Honda added their time in designing this car, loving it. I do see these getting a whole lot more bigger because they are completely selling out here at the Auto Nation Honda dealership. You could almost not even get your hands on them. That's how much people are liking them. Up top, you have your camera right over the license plate holder and of course your back windshield wiper with privacy glass and your brake light with that spoiler. A little bit of cut here to kind of just to improve aerodynamic. Over to the CRV. Now, new look on the CRV. I want you guys to pay attention to that quarter panel look, the cut on how it comes in over to the back tail lights. Now, you do have some similarities from the older body style. If you guys do check out our other video, we did a comparison video from the 2022 old models over to the new 2023 model CRVs. But very nice LED look, halogen blinkers. 
but loving that renewed design over to the tailgate. Rich feel, same thing on the right side with that spoiler and that brake light integrated into that spoiler. All wheel drive, you will see an all wheel drive sticker if there are all wheel drive, and that is stapled. You know, Honda does that on their you know earlier models CRVs, so that is something that we did see for years now. And right under that Honda sign, over to the driver's side, you have your camera right over that license plate, CRV stamped. And the bumper itself is not painted. It's that matte black plastic that comes in over from the front over to the sides and all the way to the back with your integrated bumper sensors and parking reflectors with a little bit of kind of honeycomb design integrated into this. Now, see, even though the price tag is a little bit more hefty on the CRV, on the HRV, you have some, you know, little bells and whistles that make the car just look a little bit more richer than the CRV would look. So take that into consideration. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up the tailgate to this car. Now this is an automatic lift gate. The HRV does not have an automatic lift gate. You're gonna go ahead and lift that. Now watch your head when you're coming in. And this is the back of the 2023 CRVs, LED lighting, some hooks. If you wanna bungee some stuff down, you got your mats, your floor mat cover, and let me go show you what's under that floor mat, your tire situation. Let's go ahead and push that back. Now those seats themselves are 60% and a 40% and they do go down. So these, this back trunk space can connect. And I'm gonna show you guys that when I'm talking about the second row seating later on in the video, stay tuned. You got a 12 volt, 180 watt max plug outlet. Now let's go ahead and shut that by the press of the button. Very convenient on that automatic lift gate. Let's go ahead and open up the HRV. HRV, now of course it's going to be smaller, everybody. HRV does still have the mat and you, it is a little bit more simple. You don't, you do, you do have the 12 volt, 180 uh, volt plug-in. Okay, that's pretty much standard, typical with that new LED lighting. Loving that they're not putting that soft yellow because it, it is brighter and more true light. Let's go ahead and show you what's under that mat itself. You got more personal space and tire situation under that foam. You do have some hooks under this mat here, a little bit more simple, just metal hooks if you wanna bungee some down. Also 60 and 40% seats that you can drop down to connect over to the HRV. One thing I want you guys to notice from the CRV and the HRV is even though the CRV is bigger than the HRV, of course, as seen, now you guys can still fit a whole lot in these HRVs. Now, if you're heading up to the mountains and you got an all wheel drive version, you can drop your skis, your snowboards. If you're heading over to, you know, your nearest uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, you could drop literally washers or drop a, you know, dishwasher here, a dryer because the entry to the CR, to the, sorry, the HRV is pretty big, okay? Take that into consideration. Now, it's pretty much up to you on exactly how much you need that little extra space coming over from the CRV to the HRV. Now that we're done talking about the specs about both of these cars and some exterior elements, let's go ahead and talk interior. Now, on the interior side of the 2023 HRV, a quick uh, show for you guys so you guys get an idea of the differences. You know, you have the center console that looks completely different. From This is the HRV and how it looks. You have your USB plugins on the left and the right. And also up here by your wireless charging pad, cup holders, shift knob, parking with your drive mode switching and hill decline assist, personal pocket space. One thing I want you guys to notice is that from different trim levels like EXL to Sport or anything of that sort, you will get different look on the seats. Perforated leather with that kind of nice gray stitching in it. Heated seats on the EXL trim. All right, keep in mind you might not have heated seats on lower trim levels. Up top you have, let's go ahead and start the car for the sake of the video top your control switch for your dual climate controls, nine inch touchscreen infotainment screen. If you guys want more of an in-depth review, check out our other videos.
up top. Very nice kind of nice curves on the HRV dashboard. Over to the front driver cluster. Half of it is manual on the right side, your miles per hour gauge, your tachometer, and on the left is all digital. Okay, you can control that info card with your controls here on your steering wheel. Leather wrapped steering wheel in black leather with that gray stitching and the black gloss kind of tripod steering. Very cool. Straight to the point controls on your signal lights and windshield wipers. Over to the left, all you do on the HRV is have your traction control button and nothing else. Manual steering column, control units for your windows and your side mirrors. All right. So up top, you do on the XL. Remember, you're going to get a sunroof certain different models you will not get a sunroof let's go ahead and pull that visor back it does have a tilt and slide option very nice and convenient my best advice to anybody was get the sunroof because it's nice to have it when you need it all right so we're pretty much done with the front side of this we're going to do a space test and a quick show for the back of the hrv so now let's talk about second row seating in the hrv this is what it looks with the seats down everybody like i mentioned 60 40 connects and just makes that uh, trunk space look a whole lot bigger, okay? You can fit a lot if you're heading up to the mountains or you just wanna go to your nearest Home Depot or Lowe's. All right, and let's go ahead and sit inside the car. Now I'm about six feet, two inches, okay? So leg room, depending on who's sitting in the front, it will vary, but you have enough leg room and the head clearance because of the indentation in the ceiling you have a whole lot, a few inches of headroom for us tall people, all right? So you're clear on this, very nice and convenient. Up top, you got your touch sensitive, true light, LED lighting, very nice. Loving the fact that they put that in their car because it just gives you that kind of true light. Over that brings you down to the center council. Center council, pretty simple, straight to the point. Nothing on that backside with a little pocket space. You do not have a pocket on the driver's side, back side of that driver's seat, but you have a personal pocket for some more personal belongings on the passenger side. The door panel looks pretty much the same coming in over from the front over to the back. And one thing I like is that Honda did not simplify their back seat. Let me go ahead and lift this. And it still has that same perforated stitching look because a lot of manufacturers will simplify those back seats. Now guys, we're pretty much done with the HRV. Let's go ahead and talk CRV interior. Now on the interior side of the 2023 CRV. Now starting off with the door panel, this is how the door panel looks on the CRV compared to the HRV. You do have memory seating in the CRV with your straight to the point simple control units for your windows and your electric controls on the side mirrors. Black gloss inlays with that kind of design trim honeycomb feel on that design inlay. Over to the dashboard, loving this new honeycomb look with that little trim design inlay going all the way across that dashboard. This is how the dashboard looks on the CRV compared to the HRV. Screens, both of them are nine inch touch sensitive screens. Now, same idea from the HRV to the CRV. On the front driver cockpit cluster, same exact look. On the right, you have your miles per hour gauge and your manual tachometer. Over to the digital on the left-hand side and the center that you can control with your controls on your tripod steering. Black leather wrapped with that gray stitching and a little bit of different color on the steering wheel with the black gloss and the kind of silver look. Manual steering column. On the left-hand side, you have your button for your automatic lift gate and your traction control. Over to the center dual climate control and heated seats on the EXL trim. Take that into consideration. Now wireless charging pad. This is what the area of the center council looks here on the CRV compared to the center council look on the HRV. Both of them come with wireless charging pads. Just a little bit of different look here on the center councils. Your cup holders are in the center. The shift knob, uh, some people are in fan you know they're fans of the different change from up here from the older models down here drive mode going in through modes hill decline assist with your parking buttons let's go ahead and open this personal pockets uh, cubby room with that removable little tray for some change your 
you know, chapstick. Perforated leather seats, loving the nice quality in the leather seats with this gray stitching and the kind of bucket feel. Automatic seat on the driver and automatic seat on the passenger as well. For the CRV, HRV compared, this is what it looks like also. Up top on the EXL, again, because it's EXL trim, slight until option on that sunroof. Let's go ahead and shut that. My best advice is get the sunroof. Don't be greedy. Let's go ahead and talk second row seating since we are done with the front. So now let's talk second row seating on the CRV. Now we dropped these seats for the sake of the video so you guys get an idea of how they look. Take in consideration that it's not the same angle so it doesn't come flat uh, from the trunk over to the seat area. The cubic feet is 39.3 cubic feet of space in the CRV compared to the HRV is 24.4. So honestly, you're getting a huge difference, um, probably 70 or 80% uh, increase on space in size with the CRV, everybody. So now sitting on the interior side, let's give you guys a quick idea of space. Now I'm about six feet, two inches on the leg room, depending on who sits in the front, that will vary again but you are clear on the leg room. And of course you get more space here because of the bigger cabin on the CRV. But up top also you get a whole lot more clearance on the top and it does have that up top indentation too, okay? You don't have the touch sensitive single lighting on the CRV, but just kind of a center lighting. Same look on the seats coming in over from the front to the back. Let's go ahead and drop this. Simple straight to the point, armrest with cup holders. Now, one thing I wanted to mention to you guys is that these seats drop lower and you can increase the angle on that lower back to be more obtuse or you can lift up that backrest and be more acute if you wanna sit more upright, which will increase your clearance up top for your head clearance. On the center console, nothing much but just your vents for your airflow. Seats, one pocket on, one pocket on the passenger with no pocket on the driver. Door panel pretty much looks the same coming in over from the front to the back. Didn't simplify, which I like that Honda did. They kept the same look coming in over from the front to the back. Now guys, as promised, here's the MSRP sticker to the CRV and the price tag so you guys get an idea. And then here's the price tag and the MSRP sticker over to the HRV. Take a look at that of what it comes with and the exact price tag. Now we appreciate you guys watching. Any comments, questions, concerns, leave in the comment section below. We appreciate you guys watching our channel here at Vagabond Build. Stay tuned, we have more things coming.